Now uh, we got to talk to Kremia. Hmm, Master Kremia. Miss Francis. Hmm. Disney Plus did something that had been annoying me, or did uh, did so that fixed, fixed something. something. Yeah. That, yeah, they separated the MCU movies from like the X Men movies and the Fantastic Four movies. Thank God. Have you seen like the old Fantastic Four movies? I don't remember. I've seen you know who, one and I didn't like it. I don't remember. Do you know one. who played the Human Torch? Yeah, Chris Evans. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that until <laughs> just recently. Yeah, it's super funny. I like it a lot. It's hilarious. Like, he was like a throwaway right. in a much less successful superhero movie with yes. the same yeah. franchise. Uh, and then he was the leader of the Avengers. So that's what I was going to ask. Now that we're kind of going into like a new generation of MCU, does MCU still hold your attention or are you like, yeah, yeah I'm pretty much done after this? Oh my God, yes. Bro. All right. I'm getting to a point where it's like, I'm just going to have to watch all of the movies we're, again. We're the only ones. Everybody else, oh for some reason, is like, I like Spider-Man, but like, whatever. I don't care enough. So they're just like, after after Endgame, they're just like, I'm done with MCU. I don't think they can hold my attention. I'm just finished That's with totally this. fair. She's, um... Oh, right there. There she is. I was about to say she's somewhere she's not. We're leaving at 6 o'clock when? Tonight. 6 o'clock this evening. Okay. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 12 uh, yeah, o'clock. I... 12 o'clock. Yeah, but I'm definitely ready for, like, Spider-Man, the MCU, because that's pretty much what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. See, what I... What I struggle with, because, like, I don't care about the comics, like, at all. Yeah. I've always preferred it to be, like, not the original source material, like, in other media, particularly video games. Mm -hmm. I was, I would be like, just use the film version. The film, I'm saying it like that on purpose, by the way. Are we doing just anything like, real I'm quick before? Uh, nope. Head to uh, Great Bay. And we can do a ton of stuff. What are we going to do right now? Oh, yeah. get. Did you get the map of Great Bay from Tingle? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. was all I did. All right. Uh, how many bottles do you have? Oh, I Three? Go to Great Bay. Fuck. Um, That's that? going to become annoying. Um, uh, yeah, three bottles. Okay, good. You're going to want to empty all of those, because we're going to the Pirate's Fortress. Great. And you have the stone mask, which we got. Um, it's seriously not that hard of a gauntlet. Probably not. To do. The key is we just got to keep the, the stone mask and the Zora mask and... Uh... Probably that, or I don't know. It'll become apparent what we need on the third yeah. slot when we get there. But the stone mask has always got to be there. If we're going to be a human, we need that stone mask on always. Okay. Um. Anyways, so like, it always kind of annoyed me in video games where obviously it makes more sense for them to use the uh, comics mm -hmm. for their points of reference because there's a much wider depth, but it's like, if you're like me... Epona, for fuck's sake, use your legs. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Epona in a wheelchair. <laughs> That's a wild mental image I just Move had. over! <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. <laughs> but, like... I just, like, if you're like me, and you like superheroes, and you just kind of know them, um, but your main exposure and points of reference are the
the movies. Just use the fucking movies. Yeah. It'd be way cooler if you just did that. For, oh my fucking god, Epona, you're such a pain in the dick right now. You can't move over grass, you can't move over a half an inch of a hill. That's a, that's at least a three foot drop. What a dumb horse. <laughs> <laughs> just be like- Epona! <laughs> Just be like Breath of the Wild, where you can like accidentally yeet your horse and leap <laughs> into the stratosphere. Um, but yeah, like yeah, I can kind of agree with know, at least have any like alternate versions where it's more MCU material. It's uh, like every it's like if you Google Hawkeye stuff, he shows up with, with this stupid purple hat on, literally yeah. always. Yeah, I hate it. So like if you're gonna redefine the Avengers and what they look like, do it in all media. Right. The Pirate's Fortress is to the right, by the way. There's like four little pieces of wood. You need to be a Zora and slam into one of them. And it'll open the path. Gotcha. And we're getting the, the Zora eggs. Four little yeah, go go way to the right, because like you'll hit a wall, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. God, the swimming in this game is so good. These? No. Nope, those are pillars. I think. Like he fucking bounced off that wall. He said, like, "Dude." Oh! Alright. There's like four plaques. Oh my god, he that was a majestic dive. Oh. Yeah, you gotta enter down from down underwater. Down. How great was that gif that I tweeted <laughs> where he's just playing the guitar all over the place? He's just fucking going. Yeah. Just, just oh, okay, come on, A button. We want to hold down. There we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, not the greatest description, but, uh, it's all right. Ooh. So, yeah, only one of them... That's nothing up here. Is, the, ...is the entrance. Ooh. There you go. Is your stone mask on, uh, your bootins? It's about to be. Oh, yeah, the other thing... That I don't blame people for not caring about. Is I get that they want to expand and introduce more superheroes mm -hmm. to the universe. But I can totally get a lot of people not really being all that interested. It's like, I, like, endgame spoilers. Um, when Clint is Ronan, yeah. no interest. At all. Really? Oh, I think I'm not. Not cool. even. Yeah. So, yeah, be, put a Zora helmet mask on and then go under the water because there's some chests. And that's where you're going to do most of your navigating. I I, I, I. I don't even know about Ronan in the comics. I just liked that outfit. I was like, dude, what's that? I want to do that. I want him to do that all the time. I don't know why. No, and it, it like. Sword Clint is significantly less interesting than uh, bow and arrow Clint. And I, That's just me, though. Yeah. Um, I feel like the MCU did a lot in terms of, like... And I could be wrong because I didn't read comic books, but from what I was told from people who read comic books... Um, like, for example, Guardians of the Galaxy. That was not a, a famous comic book. Like, nobody nope. gave a fuck about Guardians of the Galaxy, like, actually. But the movie made it... A popular thing the movie kind of brought it back around to being like as much of the Avengers that people care about as everybody else whereas in the comics they were just kind of like all right there's a fuck Guardian of the Galaxy stupid stupid, stupid fucking bullshit. see that Dumb little island raccoon. Vin like... Diesel ass raccoon no it's Vin Diesel's group no it's Dave Batista. No, Batista's I not. Am Groot. <laughs> yeah, it's Dave Batista. Dave Batista's not Groot. Dave Batista's what's Oh, no. 
No, uh, that, that's Vin, what I'm saying. I was correcting you because Vin, Vin Diesel is is Groot, Groot and uh, the raccoon is Bradley Cooper. Oh, is Bradley Cooper? Yeah. I thought you were talking about <laughs> that. Would be funny if if, if uh, Dave Batista was uh, was Rocket. Was Rocket? Yeah. <laughs> they all flip around. Vin Diesel's like. Well, I guess Vin Diesel could be uh, Drax. Yep. Do I have to do easily. the goal run? But I think... He... Yep. He easily could have been Drax. But uh, I... You know how they are really good about, like, dropping little, little nuggets within the films, particularly the early ones? Uh, um, what? Wait, I thought... Oh no. I thought I couldn't get caught if I dove for some reason. Well, you can you, you hey, usually don't get caught if you dive, but uh oh, don't talk to this guy. You'll hate him. Fucking anime character. Dumbass. Right. But you're going to say anime fan. Fucking Master Roshi over <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. Well, side note, that has not aged well at all. Oh, no. Of course not. But it's so fucking funny. Yeah. Were you in call for the Master Roshi argument? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. What was the take? There was no take. It was just like... A I disagree. There, it was an argument. There it, has to it be was a It was a difference in who saw what media... And Dylan took it as a right or wrong type thing. Okay, so what had happened was there was an article by Kotaku and a couple of other like dirt sheet media, like not good, and I'm fully aware not good media. Uh, okay. But they posted something that's like Master Roshi has Ultra Instinct or like a theory that he has Ultra Instinct. And Pause. I was like, wasn't that like a mist? Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Yeah. The fuck is that? Ultra Instinct <laughs> is Ultra Instinct. It's like his new Super Saiyan thing that Goku has. Okay, continue. Uh, so it's like his new form. So there was like a theory that Master Roshi has Ultra Instinct or a form of it based on something he did in the manga that's not on the show yet. Anyway, okay. So I asked Dylan. I was like, "Wasn't that like a common misconception for a while, where like people thought that Master Roshi was gonna have Ultra in Instinct, but he didn't?" And Dylan goes. Nobody has ever once thought that in that stupid. I was like, well, oh. okay. And he went on like a whole rant That's about unusual. it. That's unusually aggressive for Dylan. If if it's anime and it's Dragon Ball, Dylan is going to go all in on it. And like, he, he's right in the fact that nobody, I think, actually thought that Master Roshi had Ultra Instinct. But it was like, it was like a clickbait article, essentially. Okay. So I looked it up, and I found the clickbait article. He's like, yeah, but those aren't legit. I'm like, well, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying that, like, it definitely could have been. So I don't, I don't know. I just, now every time I think about Master Roshi, I think about Dylan go, fucking stupid Master Roshi Ultra Instinct would be fucking dumb. <laughs> He's just, like, so upset about it for That's some reason. mumbling, like Quagmire. <laughs> Remember that episode of Family Guy where they're, uh, watch they're talking about wings? <laughs> In, oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's walking away. He's like, fuck, fuck it. Love wings. Fuck wings. <laughs> he fucking shouts. He looks back. The best part of that is that Joe's legs keep coming up. <laughs> really? That's funny. I never Because they're sitting in water and his toes just keep slowly yeah. coming up. Push the block in, by the way. And then that's how you get into the path. Oh, I see. Okay. Fucking love wings. Um, but yeah, what was I saying before we got on the Master Roshi? MCU this game story Ronin. is one fucked up one. It is messed up. It's also, messed hello. Up. I'm gonna take a stab at this. Go for it, because I will. Zolflol. Zolflol. I'm gonna go with Zolflol. Zolflol. It's like trying to pronounce. <laughs> it's trying to pronounce Louisville the correct way. <laughs> Louis v Ville? Louis Vile? Thanks for butchering it. No uh, I'm sorry. 
Watch out, that's gonna blow you back out. A little late, but I appreciate oh. you trying to look out. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, someone shoots you in the head. It's like, Tony, watch out, that's gonna a gun. <laughs> Have you seen episode um, one of Dark Souls? <laughs> nope. This is so specific. Dark Souls 1 uh, Game Grumps. Mm -mm. And he's like, <laughs> wow, Aaron, you really got hit by the world's slowest arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching their um at a very specific point I'm trying to remember it um I've been watching their the uh oh, he helicopter rescue the mountain rescue simulator thing so funny the what you haven't seen this no they play like an absolutely awful game that no. it's amazing that it got approved it's so funny because the menu music is just like this incredible acoustic guitar uh -huh. that does not fit at all. Oh, we're watching it as soon as the stream's done. Okay. It's going to be great. Um, 